How high can Wormhole go this cycle? In today's video, I'm going to be giving my price predictions for the W token. I know a lot of people have been eagerly awaiting this token launch because you wanted to claim your airdrops and it's finally here after weeks of waiting. Now in this video, we are going to cover the fundamentals of Wormhole, the situation around the airdrop, tokenomics and much more before finally giving those price predictions. But you'll want to watch the full video because around halfway through it we're going to be doing a $200 giveaway so stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy the video please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel but let's get started with the fundamentals of Wormhole. So what actually is Wormhole? We're going to do a very quick overview of what the project is actually all about. So we're starting on this Unchained article here going through a beginner's guide to Wormhole and there's just one paragraph here that I want to pay close attention to and it's just here what is wormhole in crypto wormhole is a cross-chain blockchain protocol that facilitates the seamless transfer of crypto assets and data across blockchain ecosystems the protocol uses a proof of transfer mechanism to ensure the security and reliability of cross-chain transfers and to summarize, it says, think of Wormhole as a bridge that allows blockchains to communicate with each other flawlessly. Now, if you have been using bridges to qualify for airdrops, you're probably well aware of what this means. But if we move over to the Wormhole website, we can see their introductory sentence is explaining that hundreds of companies and applications use Wormhole's blockchain connectivity platform to securely and scalably grow their user base, increase market share and drive more on-chain activity. And the way that it drives more on-chain activity is through making it user-friendly. Now, if people who were around in 2020, 2021, that bull market, you will understand how difficult it was to get funds across different chains. Often it meant sending funds to a centralized exchange so you could withdraw them funds on a different network and it was just a very long-winded process that a lot of people just couldn't be bothered doing. Now with Wormhole's technology, it's so much easier to quickly make a transfer across different chains and make life much more, well, much more user-friendly. Now if we go to the, which, applications actually use wormhole we can see a lot of names here some people will be very familiar with some of them such as jupiter pike portal and much more but i think the key here is that so many projects so many applications the underlying technology that they use to go cross chain to bridge is actually wormhole whether you know it or not i know a lot of people qualified for the airdrop without actually realizing that they'd used wormhole technology in the past so that gives a very quick overview of why wormhole is actually significant in this cycle for people going cross chain moving on to the airdrop now i'm going to do a very quick recap about this just because we've gone into detail many times in previous videos so just to bring people up to speed now it all started with this tweet from the official wormhole page this basically confirmed that the airdrop was going ahead and they shared a blog post with this basically basically covering the tokenomics but what was important for people here is if we scroll down we can see that 17 percent of the token supply was put aside for community and launch now if we scroll down again and look at this in a little bit more detail we can see here that from the 17 percent 11% of that allocation will be unlocked on TGE, which is token generation event, which basically means on day one of the token going live. So this was pretty impressive and a lot of people were happy with the amount of tokens put aside for the community. Now, when it comes to eligibility, we can see on this graphic here, and I'll zoom in, it may go a little bit blurred, but should be easier to see that a lot of projects a lot of networks sorry actually do use wormhole but i do think that most people recognize wormhole as a solana project within the solana ecosystem which is true but of course it is cross-chain and many many different chains can use it now when it comes to qualifying a lot of the users of these apps did actually receive some of the tokens but when it comes to the community pipe stakers got a pretty good chunk of them but you had to be within a top certain percentage it wasn't linear it wasn't for everyone which was a little bit disappointed especially for those smaller stakers 
A number of different NFT holders receive the tokens, so D gods, mad lads, uh, bad kids, and utes. And then people within the wormhole discord, those early supporters, those early community members did also receive the airdrop. And we actually seen people on Twitter receive extremely profitable airdrops. So if we take a couple of examples here, we can see that DJ claimed 10,000 plus tokens at the time of the launch worth around $50,000. So a healthy five figure airdrop there. And also Honey received around 9K tokens, which at the time of the tweet was worth around $27,000. And this is basically free money. When people say that airdrops are too good to be true and it's free money, it is to an extent, but these people were on the ball. They were looking at Wormhole a long time before any airdrop was uh, confirmed, before snapshot dates were taken. They were using products. They were making sure that they were going to receive that airdrop, but they were doing it well in advance. They had the patience and now that is being rewarded. So GG to these two guys and to everybody else who received the airdrop. But if you are not following these two on Twitter, I definitely recommend it. So now it's time for the giveaway. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because if I put it in a tweet or if I put it in the title of the video I'm just gonna get hammered with bots and I want to make sure that somebody actually watching the video does receive this I nearly said airdrop then technically it is an airdrop a post the airdrop but giveaway of $200 to one winner now to enter you'll need to do three things three simple tasks subscribe to the channel follow on Twitter link will be in the description and comment on my pinned tweet. It's basically gonna be this video and you need to comment saying, where's my W? If you do them, you will be entered into the giveaway and the winner will be announced in the next video. Good luck to everyone. So now we'll take a look at the tokenomics and the vesting terms. And this is important when making price predictions. We always look at this in every price prediction video. So over to CoinGecko now, and we'll just have a look at the key numbers. Now, I mean, look at the chart, down 30%. It's actually no surprise, to be honest. When we see these token launches, everybody wants to sell their airdrops. So there could be a great opportunity to buy the dip soon if you are bullish on wormhole but it's too early to do technical analysis we may look at that in a future video or on twitter so just for the sake of the giveaway for the sake of price action and charts make sure you are following and join the telegram channel link will be in the description but anyway moving back to the tokenomics we can see the market cap roughly at around two billion dollars now with a fully diluted valuation of around 11.4 billion now 18 percent of the tokens are in circulation I think this is pretty reasonable for a new coin. This is definitely not uncommon, but of course we need to make sure that we're paying attention to those vesting terms. So here we'll do a very quick recap. We've got a 10 billion uh, max supply, like we said, 18% currently in float. And we can see that 31% will be going to the ecosystem and incubation, 23% for the foundation treasury, 17% as we mentioned in the airdrop segment is to the community and launch, core contributors will take 12%, strategic network participants 11% and guardian nodes at 5%. Now, when looking at this, nothing stands out as a huge red flag, to be honest it is pretty standard these days. Now, when it comes to the actual vesting schedule, we can see that the ecosystem and incubation, the foundation treasury and the community are already starting their unlocks. And these, the top two anyway, are linear over four years. So there's never gonna be a huge amount of tokens dumping at once. I don't really see an issue with those. We know that 11% is currently live when it comes to the community and launch with the remaining 6% coming in batch two in around four months time. So again, no huge concern there. When it comes to these three though, we can see that in around a year's time, there is a one year cliff, but then they start to unlock pretty heavily. So if we look at the unlock events down here, we can see that the token supply does very slowly increase. We're at 18% now. In a month, in a couple of months' time, we'll be at around 19%. There'll be a pretty big jump in August to around uh, 25%. Then we're slowly moving our way up. And there's no real concern at this point, but this is the big one for me. And this is one that you have to take into consideration 
when holding and this may factor when you actually sell on timing rather than price because next April when it has been a year when that cliff is finished we're going to see around 46% of tokens in circulation and by the end of the year we're very much closer to around the 50% mark. Now, when we talk about typical four year cycles, when we think about November 2025 potentially being the top, we've got to consider that 50%, not 18% is going to be in circulation and that is going to have a huge impact on them price predictions. So this is why I highlight this stuff because people who are aiming for a specific market cap to take profit might be looking at the current flow and what the flow and not what the flow may be in 12 to 18 months time. And now we're going to take a look at the competitive landscape because I do think this plays a big part when making these price predictions because we can look at those around them, historical data and gauge what the true potential of wormhole is. Now, it is a little bit more difficult because this sector of cross-chain bridging is relatively new. So when we're looking at competitors, there isn't an awful lot to work with, but we are gonna do a very quick recap. So looking at C be insights here if we scroll down on this wormhole page we can see a couple of competitors we've got layer zero axilar and polymer labs now i think layer zero and axilar are the two to pay attention to i think they are the two biggest threats to wormhole and if we move over to coin gecko we can see that wormhole is number one with a two billion dollar market cap as mentioned and next up is axilar at around a one billion dollar market cap so around 50 percent of that value now there are a few with smaller market caps but I think these two are the big players in this sector for now but that is because layer zero haven't launched yet and a lot of people are actually paying attention to layer zero because I do think that they will do an airdrop and it will be a very similar valuation to wormhole when they actually launch their token so I expect this to be in the coming months and that will be another big player entering the arena. So now we move on to the price predictions. And as always, I'm going to give a pessimistic, a realistic, and an optimistic price target for Wormhole this cycle. Now, one thing to factor, as we mentioned with the tokenomics, is when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that the market is going to top out at some point next year, probably Q3, Q4. So when I'm making these predictions, I am basing it on the fact that the circulating supply is gonna be somewhere around that 45 to 50% mark rather than 18% that we are currently seeing. So do keep that in mind. So when it comes to the pessimistic price target, I think we can reach a $13 billion market cap with an FDV of around 27 billion. Now this would leave price at around $2.85. So you're probably thinking, you know, that isn't too impressive looking at the current price. But like I said, this is pessimistic and it is definitely not a 100X gem because of the market cap. We haven't found a gem here. This has launched at a huge valuation. Moving on to the real realistic price target and I think that wormhole could actually reach a market cap of around 25 billion leaving the FDV close to around the 52 billion mark. Now price at this point would be around $5.50 and I do think this is realistic looking at the fundamental value of wormhole comparing it maybe to the likes of link last cycle although it's a different uh, product it was fundamentally valuable and a lot of projects utilized their technology and partnered with them and so on. So I do think that this sits within the realistic span. Now, when I go optimistic, I do think that we could potentially see market cap go as high as around 42 to 45 billion, leaving the FDV at around 85 to 90 billion. Now, it is extremely high, of course, that is why it is the optimistic price target, but we have seen a number of projects reach these types of valuations in 2021. So if you are super bullish on Wormhole and the sector and what it can provide to the rest of crypto, then I do think that is a fair valuation which would leave price at around $9.20 maybe tapping $10 so I think that is on the high side for the next 12 to 18 months now as I mentioned this is not 100x gem anymore this is a big blue chip player so you do have to keep that in mind 
when making your own price predictions, the FDV is already extremely high on day one of launch. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was useful. Don't forget to get involved in that giveaway. It doesn't take much and $200 are up for grabs. If you did enjoy it, do drop a like, subscribe to the channel, comment and let me know how high you think Wormhole can go this cycle. But in the meantime, please do trade safe, invest safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.